guys and welcome back to another video so i do have a watercolor speed paintish video for you guys i'm not sure if this really counts as a watercolor speed paint video that you guys wanted but i'm in a slightly art blocky mood or something like that so i do apologize for another doodling session i guess um so i guess let's just get into this um i actually had a bit of difficulty with the first um, Chibi that I was drawing today, so this one's Wonu, and I'm drawing stuff from Carrotland again because it's just a little bit more convenient because I have so many photos I've saved of Carrotland. So when I'm in an art blocking mood, as usual, I would try to pick something with a reference. So I drew Wonu, and the sketch looked kind of cute. And then when I'm doing the line art, um, I try to fix a little bit of errors that I saw in my initial sketch. Um, now. I can't tell exactly if I like this one or I hate it because as I'm- ooh, my materials went by so fast. I'll make sure to put them in a little banner type thing so you guys know what I'm using for materials for both sketching and painting. Um, so right now he looks really cute and then you can see that he's getting like blotchier and blotchier. So partly why I don't like how he turned out is because the skin's so blotchy and I really like the skin when it's a little bit more smoother. Um, another thing I didn't really like, and this is something I feel like a lot of people who do any kind of speed paint or sketching video or something like that would have to deal with, it's the fact that um, there's a lot of stretching or like the idea of things being uneven or like elongated because I'm not able to tilt my sketchbook upwards and see it um, because I want to make sure it's on a flat surface so that you guys can see when I'm recording stuff so you can see his eyes are actually very uneven like very uneven I even it out at least like is the what is it called the iris his iris pupil or whatever you want to call it for a chibi because I don't think they actually have a pupil not my chibis anyways um but i try to even out like the edges of his i guess his iris and they're getting a little bit even um at some point i do cover up his eyes because i can't stand it and the actual problem what i'm looking at is his right eyes is actually too up and it doesn't meet the same like, it's not on the same line, I guess, where with his other eye, so his left eye. So they're both, like, slightly, one's up and one's slightly more down. And even though his head is tilted, they shouldn't be, there shouldn't be that big of a, discre like a discrepancy. As you can see, I was trying to even it out. Didn't really work. So, he does look a little derpy. Um, thank you guys to who are on Instagram who was trying to cheer me up when I was, um, basically screaming on Instagram saying that I can't paint. But that's okay. I'm working on making sure that I can have fun with painting again because I kind of need to work on a larger painting. Like, these guys are itty bitty. They're probably like two, two and a half inches tall, maybe, or two inches tall um, chippies. And I have to work on a illustration for Busuk soon, and it's going to be on 8x10, I believe. Um, I have it all like drawn out on sketching like all the sketches are done I did the thumbnailing I did the real sketch I transferred my sketch to my computer fixed up a few things and then printed it on tracing paper and I have to transfer it to watercolor paper today hopefully because the 21st is coming up close and I actually have to finish another OT 13 drawing um, by the end of today, hopefully, because <laughs> the deadline's on the 21st, and then Busuk Soon's deadline should be on the 20th because their anniversary's on the 21st, and where I live, um, I have to get that posted the day before um, the actual date so that I can be on time with the Korean time. Um, so, second chibi that I'm drawing is June, so just he looks fairly cute, but I feel like I don't want to mess up June. <laughs> His face, he's too handsome. <laughs> okay. Um, also, I do apologize about my hands. They feel, I don't know, they look ratchet right now. As well as that, I had like, bl like black ink on my left hand and then on my right hand there's like skin peeling for some reason and I don't know why because I've had this in the past where my skin was peeling but that was because like I was in sculpture class and I had to dunk my hand in like weird um, soapy water, vinegar water or something like that to wash silicone. I believe it's soapy water. They like, would dish soap. 
and we had to wash our silicone and then this vinegarish smell comes off from the silicone and it like basically eats away the first layer of your skin so like everyone in my class like the next day had like peeling skin and it was really gross sorry if you're <laughs> eating or something and i'm talking about that skin um but oh yeah one thing i forgot to talk about at the beginning of the video i actually switched cameras so i'm actually using my logitech i'll put the number in the description or something i don't know it's like c920 logitech camera or something like that it's the webcam and I decided to do that instead of my normal Canon um, T5, T3? I don't know which camera I have. Uh, like the, I think it's T5. Yeah, T5 Rebel. Because I wanted to have an overhead shot and the webcam does a good job, but I don't know about the quality or the color saturation and everything. It might've been like super off at the beginning, I kind of fiddled with it so I could get a better lighting, but I don't think it's actually too off. I don't, don't quote me on that. It might be super off and you guys can tell me in the comments if you guys prefer the quality of my other camera better. I just like the Logitech webcam at the moment because I can hook it up to my laptop and I can see what I'm painting, how it looks, whether or not it's blurry or not, and I can record for a longer period of time without being interrupted. Because with my Canon Rebel, because it's a camera for taking photos, it only can do about 12 minutes of HD recording. Uh, which means that every time I do a speed paint, I have to stop and then reset my not reset my camera, press play on my camera again to get the recording going again, like every 12 minutes. And it's not ideal when I'm painting because like I don't want to let things dry or like I miss certain things. So I prefer to use the webcam so I can record at least like up to half an hour or even more as long as I can render the video clip after. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do some more efficient speed paints. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, <laughs> my current mood. <laughs> Dealing with art block, I just want to scream. So I just drew a little Wanu, kind of my usual typical Wanu with a little sprout and one of my favorite outfits that he's worn, which is the pink sh like button up shirt with the kind of creamish beige, really light beige um, cardigan sweater thing he wears and little glasses and his slightly curly hair. Kind of just like meshed a bunch of different Wanu looks together and got that. Um, that's how I just draw them now. Uh, so not a chibi I'm drawing, and I actually wish I drew a chibi instead because this, I don't know, he looks derpy at the end, even though like I tried to fix it, but like if I went darker with the skin, it would have looked better. Future note for myself, but, <laughs> and his hair looks quite cute. Um, but yeah, I decided to do a little headshot because I realized I don't really do a lot of headshot stuff in the sketchbook. I've been doing it in a different sketchbook. Maybe if I have time, I'll take a few photos and put them in as I usually do, insert them into um, the speed paint. And yeah, I've been having fun drawing some chibis that my brother is requesting so that I can get some practice for a upcoming anime convention in August um, so that I can do commissions during tabling, which will be fun. Um, and then yeah, the headshot stuff was just for fun. I did Mingyu, I did Nishiki from Fire Emblem, and I did Felicia from Fire Emblem. Now I did initially draw Roa, but mm, for God's sakes, I'm not posting it. It looks terrible, I'm not gonna show it. Um, but yeah, this Wanu one, he looks okay. I actually quite like the hair. I love the vibrancy of the yellow, but I feel like because I thought I went too dark with the skin when I first laid down the color, I kept his face very pale. Like, I tried to fix it at the end, but I feel like I was already done with watercolor and drawing in general <laughs> for that night. I did this on Saturday and I was just really fed up. You can see I was trying to fiddle with the eyes. I t usually do like a weird pupil type thing in the middle, but I think it's because the drawing's too small that I had to um, just do the simple eyes that I usually do that are similar to my chibis. Um, yeah. Hope you guys do enjoy this. I know it's very like rambly with this voiceover, but uh, I'll try to get another video up. Some of you guys are requesting chibi tutorials. Some people are asking for me to do ships and stuff. So I'll see what I can do in the future. Uh, but hopefully sweet paints will go more smoothly using the webcam. Um, yeah, my attempt to darken the face. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, and I do hope you enjoy this week's video. I'll see you guys next week, and I hope you guys have all been well, so bye!